What up, what up, what up, everybody? This is Dan, the host of Split It, Grip It, and Rip It, episode two, hey. with the man himself, Mr. Namek. Hey, and as always, up, the homie, my co-host. What's up, what's up, it's Adam Dopest Dykes. What's up with you, Namek, dog? How you been? What up, Papa? I'm good, man, I'm Just good. chilling or what? Chilling, chilling. I'm so sorry to see you in a minute, dog. We are yeah, happy yeah. to have you today on always. episode two, my dude. But before we get into it, I want to give you guys a quick rundown on what we got running tonight. We really are trying to provide a platform for y'all to learn not only about some of the most underheard or let's talk about slept on artists around in the LA area, but local artists. How we can enhance each other's understanding of what how cannabis plays a productive role in all of our lives around here. Split it, grip it, rip it. Yes, sir. So today I really want to learn more about you, like Namik, not just the music dude, but where he came from. You know what I mean? So I've been thinking about it, you know, talking about talking about it with my boy Adam here and really just what brought you into music? Like, when did you really start taking music seriously? And when, when did you feel like that started your part of your life, like, really as a path for you to be a successful artist? Uh, shit, I would say probably around when I got into high school, man. I really, uh, I would say maybe even eighth grade, started kicking it with, with a few different people, and they introduced me to un more underground hip-hop, you know? Mm -hmm. More of the L.A. scene, the L.A. indie scene, cast like Project Blow and shit like that. And that's when I really started to appreciate the lyricism, just more than the production and, you know, more than, more than shit on the radio or whatever. So at a young age, I was really into, like, the, the lyrical part the heart, of shit. The heart of hip-hop. The, that the, shit the that, heart of hip-hop, yeah, you know, you. The, the elements, man. Because right around that age, that's when most people who really, like, yeah. like yourself have a love for hip-hop, that's when they take off. Yeah, I mean, exactly. for myself, like, I have a love for hip-hop, and that's right around that same age, that's yeah. when it was like, this is what I love. And you know I and saying? I and I really appreciate some of the big homies for kind of like molding me and, and showing me what's yeah, up yeah. with it, you know. Yeah, big when up. you say when you say some of those big homies, who you got, who you've talking about? What would you say some of your biggest influences were early in your career? Career wise, like MC wise, some of my big homies, you know, so it's crazy because my one of my favorite MCs was always the homie Abstract Rule, and now like you know, you know, I'm, I'm part of his label yeah. now. Keep slept the feeling into yeah, very slept on dude. I'm glad he he. Uh, he got that that shine with, with Ryan Are Sayers there any for a bit. influences aside from somebody who may already be like established like that, who may already be a somebody in the industry that maybe puts you on like just like someone from your family or like your past or something like that? That oh, was like, yeah, yo, yeah. Li listen to this, and then you were like, you heard an artist, and you're like, yo, I'm about to kill this shit. That's what's up, yeah, man. Shout out to the homie, man. My my boy Faze, my boy Dozer. You know, my homie Patrick back in the That's day type up. of shit. Homie shit, real homie yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, before the music thing. Yeah. I'm talking about like... In, like just in, vibing in the chill, garage. Chilling in the something. San Gabriel Valley up in Covina and yeah, Irwindale. Yeah. Vibing, wild. That's what's up. Yeah, That's yeah. what's up. So, you know, I, I, I will always remember motherfuckers like that and I'll always be appreciative. That's what's up. That's so. what's up. Because the vibe of hip hop, like you catch that shit with some people and it's just like you hear certain shit that it's just like clicks in your brain and you'd be like, damn, yeah. this shit make me want to rap. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, And but, I, I, I was always writing poems and shit too, like oh, elementary oh, so school. So you were already in the whole... Yeah, I just always had a passion for the art of rhyming, That's what's bro. up, just, just writing? Like, yeah. That's what's up. So when did you first start writing? When did you first sit down and write your first poem? Not even your first song, but your first poem. It's probably like fourth grade or something damn poetry's underrated too like motherfuckers don't understand like how poetry relates to hip-hop you know what i mean like the whole just like similes metaphors haikus storytelling yeah like, syllables. that's dope that's dope that you started with that because a lot of people don't do that yeah well, that's let, pretty let lit. me ask you this when so when you that's were doing those lit. poems back in the day did it still have a, a very positive outlook on everything because at least from what i've heard from your music especially most of the new album it's a very positive spin man, on everything man like it just seems like the outlook that you have on life is always kind of like the brighter side of things, if that makes sense. Was it back then too? Well, yeah, especially being a kid, you know, you really yeah. don't don't experience like the the craziness at that young of an age. So it was just be, me being myself, I guess you could say, man, at a young age, and and you know ha having my sister there for me, you know, you know my, my folks were there, so you know, l l luckily I was. I having was, a solid circle. That's yeah, that's not circle. normal. Like it's that's normal. that's a great thing, and, and yeah. something that drew me to your your artistry most was that positive outlook. That because that's something at least for me, uh, growing up and, and trying to be that entrepreneurial hustler. You know what I mean? That yeah, it always right. it always starts up here. You know, it always starts up in the brain. And and at least if if my my ears are telling me the correct information, dude, that message that you push through, like it's on point. I really dig it. Like I really right. really dig that. That is that is a I dope aspect because people use music to like express themselves and. A lot of times like what they're expressing unfortunately they're just in like you know what i mean they're not 
exposed to like a positive environment yeah, yeah, so they're yeah. expressing some shit that's not all that happy but it is dope that you have that and i'm sure we've all seen dark places dark, yeah so well that, sure. that, that that is hip-hop. and it comes through in your songs also yeah. came from that yeah is known for the negative harder side of life yeah. and i think that showing that there's a brighter side of things and it's not that it's and or i think it's it's a and some like a dot 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 at the end of it yeah. and i really feel like that's something that drew me you know and not and somebody that maybe doesn't have the the understanding of of hip-hop as much as the other person like mm. i vibe based off messages i vibe based off of the beats and the rhymes themselves yeah. and that's what attracted me to your stuff dude For so sure. you know props that. to that but kind of on the point of you having a unique message <laughs> It was random, dude. I was it was about nine o'clock in the morning the other day. I was driving oh, down the right. four hundred five freeway, yeah. and I hear this fool on the radio on Power one hundred six. And I just I had to like it, it jumped me for a minute. I was like, "What? That's the homie!" Like, hold on, I got to turn this up a little bit. And so I don't want to I don't want to kill the results here. I'll let you tell a little bit about it yourself. But there was a, a rap battle challenge, and he was he was coming up on a three time repeat champion, and they had oh, yeah. three styles of voting. I believe it was yeah. Twitter. Facebook and then they did a live call-in but mm-hmm. Namik, tell me a little bit about yeah, that that must up. have been like badass oh, yeah what was that all about bro what was that about oh it was dope man it, it was real tight shout out to Power 106 yeah, for, for real, actually yeah. big ups to Power 106 yeah, yeah. hey I've been listening to them since a the youngster oh, yeah, right. that's a staple in LA and always has been so for you to be on there like big ups that's tight that, that was like that's hey good, good looking out bro that's tight that was like my K-Day back in the day because no, when yeah. I was growing up K-Day really wasn't around yeah. anymore but know? I mean they went away it was yeah. it, it wasn't it was 92.3 K-Day then it was 92.3 The Beat right yeah, yeah, yeah. or am I tripping no, no, they, it was it always 93.5 no, nah, I know they a, left and came t- back. It, it was an AM station. It was a 1580, I think. Uh, regardless, though, you were yeah. on Pound 06. That's lit, bro. So what <laughs> no, was that yeah, about? So, so yeah, like, that, 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 that was about. yeah, exactly. That was tight, man. Uh, it was called Freestyle Fridays. Yeah, yeah, I heard and, that. Uh, they, they had a beast by the name of Roman from the 626 as well. Shout out Roman, man. He, out he, he was dope. That's so, what's up. So he was holding it down for three weeks straight. Jeff Garcia Champ. from the, from the, the morning show hit me up. You know, shout out to the Cruise Show, Cruise and uh. CC everybody right there. They hollered at me the day before the show, man, and asked me to come on in. That's tight. See if I wanted to give the, the champ a run for his money, dog. So I'm not really the type to back down from a challenge on me. Hey, so, you know, I had competitive to Competitive spirit. That's what hip-hop's about. Yeah, you man. So you did your thing or what? What was the outcome? You know, I had to get him, man. I, so you I, got the dub. I, I, I got yeah, the I'll dub. give you the specifics. So it went, down, it went down Facebook. It went down Twitter Instagram, and then it was Instagram, it went, oh, Instagram yeah, yeah. Twitter, and then on the calls, right? Yeah, so yeah. I know you, I know you took the calls pretty handily. Like yeah. I remember the the percentages on those. The other two were close. Yeah. So I know I think you had Twitter and he had IG, or was it switched? No, that's what it was. So you had exactly the Twitter and then he had the IG. So they had to have the drum roll at the end, that's and this dude up. definitely took it down. I think it was seventy percent, thirty percent, or something. It was it was pretty. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah, I was at work. I was at work. This fool would blow me up. Like, yo, yeah. the homies on Power One Six out here killing. Da 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 da. He did this X Y and Z, and I was like, damn, that's tight the homie put it down put so it down, you, so so you won obviously a close call is there going to be a rematch or do you defend it against someone else what's the plan yeah so now uh that would be dope if there was a rematch too because i, I mean a lot, if it's I, close i'll fuck with that I, I show a lot of respect to the homie too he he earned my respect i know i, I earned his and, That's and i like that, like that I man. Like you know that. It's, it's all about showing love I like and being humble, dog. I like but that. i think the rules are someone else has a chance now so I'm pretty much so, going to be defending my title yeah, every his, Friday his until someone gets. Defend so you should defend, title. and then I mean I don't know if it's your LA Leakers crews, anybody out there listening to me, I'm a nobody. But my opinion, <laughs> hey. you should defend, and if you win your, de- if you defend successfully, there should be a rematch, especially if it was close, dog. That's yeah, all I'm yeah. saying. No, hey, no. and if anybody out there trying to run that bet, I got right here. I put a bill on my boy Namik right here. Run that. Hey, you need odds, dog. Give you the business. We're trying to make the dough out here. <laughs> I see that. I see that. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, your, I'm your bookie. You know, dope dice. Get get the money out here. But hey, congrats. So that's tight that you For won now. Good oh, shit. Yeah, and yeah. on the on the topic of successes, right? So I'm like thinking thinking positively as your message says, right? So mm-hmm. these kind of life moments that are like check marks you know oh, successes yeah. must feel good it's a and, big one and it seems to me i mean we talked about it i think a couple weeks ago you had you had a big event st- uh up at kush out in the on the ie the other day or yeah. The other yeah that's a staple in cali and at least too. in the cannabis industry you know that's something to where the lineups that they throw up there during that event are pretty much what draw a huge yeah. amount of those crowds and yeah. you are on a pretty solid lineup yeah. so like yeah it was I, I know there were some weird circumstances that kind of led up to you being able to get on stage but you know just yeah. the pure fact of being on that lineup up is a kudos to your skill and style but why, why don't you give us a little bit about what went down the stuff you could yeah, share and congrats for being for being signed to that lineup and just being yeah. 
being on the bill just to go like big ups to that but i really want to know what happened because i heard i heard some shit went down and and unfortunate events happened and things didn't go to plan but why did that happen is my question oh man i I don't even really know exactly it was all kind of a blur it was all kind of a blur break it down tell me what's popping no no so yeah i I was i was about to perform and and some some wild ass motherfucker just comes through and starts this fool grabs a metal chair and just starts fucking up the turntables real quick, oh, bro. Like some like, WWE shit? Like some WWE shit. Why, though? What? Did he not, I, not like you or not like the DJ or not like... What was the... What was, I, I think I, if he didn't like me, he probably would have tried to knock my head off with that chair. Exactly. Some he would play you know, that shit in the 626. Like, you know, you know, one of them things. <laughs> you know, I don't think he... Uh, he had anything against me. I don't know what it was. So be, it was during honest. your set, like you were getting like on stage, or was it? I, I, I was shit? I was about to go on. It was a uh, there was a DJ that was performing. Um, so just kind of like in between sets type thing. Yeah, it yeah. seems like somebody had. A what did the bit DJ do? He didn't. Around. He didn't like stop it or nothing, Doug. Because I'd like instinct. Well, I'd have been. Like I'd have steered this part and seen back up. Boom, mm. but. Well, he he got his <laughs> he got his like ten seconds. Oh, later. I bet security mob didn't. They play no games. Bro. It wasn't even they security. No it was just the goons right there. Yeah, I bet. Know? I bet. <laughs> I, a dog on the side of side of the stage, bro. I before before we I get bet. into that piece because I know I know it's starting to take an angle down the the part of the stuff that we don't want to be talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's, too much all, right it's all cool. But we really want happens when you run on the field though. You know, <laughs> <laughs> get security, get your ass. That it's is real what it in is. the field. I can't deny that hey, it's real in the field. For real, well, pushing. Well, well, to the soil, bro. You better back up. But but I think I think as as people of of the media like we sh- we got to be smart about what we share yeah, like we I do have a power here and what we get to put give life to yeah. so i think we should give life to the positive sides of it yeah, the fact that you got on that lineup that's is dope. bad i ass. just wish you would have been able to perform for real time. yeah me yeah. too man but at the end of the day that that went down it got broken up eventually the the, the show went on it was a real big festival did so you get to perform day, i feel like it was a good turnout Nah, but i got my network on you know i ended up uh, giving my music to daz dillinger which i haven't had I really haven't had the chance That's to link daz with daz like that yet so it was cool to, to give him my amsterdam project daz, and uh, it's a lot of good networking that day, that day, so I can't complain. Hopefully, those people respect the love and see what happened, and they can make it right next time they come good, to dude. town. Because be it's not like Kush stocks never coming back; they're here every every so often. Yeah, so hopefully, yeah. they'll, I'm sure they'll make it right with you. You deserve it. You, you, you're a solid, humble dude. I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll love, be real man. with you. And, and big up to the roll up show for even uh, thinking about putting me on. That's, that's, I got to give my shout out to the roll up nice. show. Though. Speaking of roll up, though, oh, we're almost there. We, <laughs> okay. we almost there. But I we, love we on the we on the topic of the night, the cannabis piece of the puzzle. So yes, I, I know for facts, I mean, we burn together like we've had we had pretty good conversations when yeah. we when we burn. But outside of the personal side of cannabis for you, do you have anything like, let's say that cannabis has done for you or anybody in your life that is positive, that can help kind of show the world that, yo, like, oh, there's a reason why this shit had a medical. Yeah, most definitely. I remember you saying something about the RSO. Yeah, let's hear about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The, the RSO really plays a big part right now. Uh, one of my and friends. And for, for the people that don't know what RSO is, what is RSO? Uh, well, Rick it's Simpson known oil. as Rick, Rick Simpson yeah. oil, yeah, which is pretty go. much the, uh, the extract of the full spectrum the, or also known as FSO. It's where, where, it's where medical, the term where, medical cannabis came yeah, from. Yeah, so where you're going to get the medical cannabis. It's a concentrated form of the plant matter cannabis that can. It magnifies the medical side, but of that's it. just for just, people that didn't know what yeah, that was. Yeah. But continue pretty much story. CBD yeah. with THC, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah, no doubt. But continue, you got people and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. You know, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there with cancer and stuff. I happen to know a few, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it that it's really helping out. I think she's been on it for a few weeks now, just taking little drops of the RSO. She feeling better though? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm. I honestly haven't haven't talked to her in like the last week or whatever. Reach but, out. Let us know. Yeah, Reach out because I hope so, man. Because I've heard of a lot of stories where people have like you know health that they can't bear like no, where, no. you know they like i don't even want to get into the negative ways that they feel but just health that they can't bear and then the rso makes it honestly not night to day but improves their lifestyle so much so like if anybody can get that that benefit then big ups like that's yeah, the, anybody who's in that situation and isn't educated on rso needs to be and my that's thing, that's cool my yeah. thing is 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 growing up i remember being taught about dare and how yeah don't do drugs, drugs. are bad mm-hmm. and Ron, like that this, ronald reagan this, crazy, this yeah. smoke a joint and you're a loser kind of thing and at least for me my my intention for honestly creating this show was to sh- to provide a platform to show not only artists that have involved cannabis in their lives but also what cannabis has done to other people's lives so like i encourage all you guys out there Share your story if you've got a positive story with cannabis. I mean, for me, I was an athlete growing up and I had really bad issues with tendonitis and things in my shoulder and my elbow. And I was always taught, you know, take these pills, it'll numb the pain and then ice your arm at the end of the day. Like little did I know that those ibuprofen pills that I was taking multiple times a day were not good for my liver. And I had an opportunity 
to use something from the earth that could have done the same exact darn thing that those pills were doing, but nobody taught me. Mm -hmm. So like that's the thing like that, that really gets my blood boiling about this this plant, this magical you. side, dude. Yeah, it's like that. just having people share it, you know. But the thing that, that is exciting about the plant at least is there's the term medical or the benefits of it are very wide. Like there's people that have the medical yeah, side that are curing cancer and serious much, things. Right? But yeah. then there's people like yourself, myself and my boy here that I use cannabis on a daily basis to just enhance my mental state, like right. from a functionality standpoint. Yeah. So I don't want to run on too much about me, but like for you, dude, what would you say? Like, do you have any rituals or anything that like you got to do this to when you smoking or what do you what do you do before you smoke after like anything in your life that's ritualistic with smoking to be honest not really bro it's kind of just like a natural thing to me now it's like breathing air bro like i, I just but so you but that's wait, even like, better it, it seems like to me you wake up and then it seems like you, you like to start your day off with the yeah, smoke yeah but that's, that's, that's even mean. better dog that if, if if it's a natural thing to you then obviously that means it doesn't affect your day to day. It doesn't. So affect just to it. piggyback on what he said, like, oh, the whole dare program, like that's the whole, like, oh, you smoke a joint, it's gonna gateway you into you being a fucking crackhead or some crazy, something yeah, crazy like that. Still not a crackhead. Obviously, so still. Hey, big good. ups to the people who smoke weed, never turn into crackheads. So that right dare program no. is wrong. But anyways, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a normal thing. Like, Thank you're, you for pot you're you're a successful per <laughs> big ups. You're a successful person and you smoke weed every day. Is that Shout out is, Nate Dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Smoke weed every day. That's my guy. R.I.P. But I, that's what I'm saying. So it's just like, it's just crazy that some stigmas and put on some things that they that's beneficial. And it, it's just nice to know that that there's people out there that you know, that we know, mm -hmm. that everybody may know that are in not the best medical condition. Use your brain, But can people. find a way like, to benefit their simple. situation. Use your yeah. brain. Like, do it's research, something. man. Don't disrespect it and, and don't, don't disrespect do you. it when you don't know what the benefits could you be, know? man. At yeah. the end of the day. So when, when did you first good. smoke, though? When did you first start smoking? I was like 12. 12? When I first smoked. What did you smoke out of? It was a... What was it? Blunt? No, no, it was it was a, a stress joint. Stress joint. And hey, you smoke swag. Yeah, smoke some we all started with swag back yeah, in the day. Yeah, we all. I think yeah. we all did. Hey, I could tell just from your age, dog. Me too. We, we old back in the day. Well, there was back no, in the day there was swag or Kush. Yeah, like, there was, was none it was, of there was chronic. Chronic, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, correct. But correct. then after yeah, yeah. chronic, that's when the Kush came out. That's when you know, like, yeah, yeah. like Desert Storm happened, and then all these military food, which is a whole other topic for another time, came back with these seeds from Afghanistan. That's mm. when Kush came into the play, mm -hmm. and Kush came into play, and it was like, oh shit, this shit is Game way changer. better than yeah. the shit we Game used to have. Changer. Completely flipped everything. But that's a whole other topic. But that's dope. So if you first smoked a, a stress blunt and and Joint, just just joint. Nah, Sorry, yeah. my, my fault. It's just there, joint. there is a difference. There's no, it's for sure a difference. It's for sure a difference. Paper, but then, and you were twelve. Did that go hand in hand into hip hop? Like it was it just like because it normally that's how it is for everybody. Yeah, it's it's like you know, it's me like burn a blunt, put a put a slapper on, and that's yeah. that's what it is. It's kind of it's it's the culture, man. Yes, you know, it always you can't is. you can't Especially front and say that it's not. You know, they they do go hand in hand just to this day. You I know? don't mean you need Still. to smoke weed to enjoy hip hop though. Like, yeah, you could be a, you, you could be straight don't, but it's or the same thing there. on the other side. Exactly, too, though, but the, exactly. So the, the cannabis the cannabis piece of the puzzle, I think, is super almost like a chameleon. Very, it has a bunch of different faces too. Because mm -hmm. you look at hip hop, right? The the piece that cannabis has in hip hop, but then you look at something like reggae. Right? Oh, yeah. Reggae has the Most same definitely. type of feel with it. But then Classic you look at rock. something like, bro, if you really look into it, even on the, on the country side of things, a lot of the country artists are are enhancing yeah, I mean, their musical abilities. Yeah. You with tell cannabis. me back in the day, all these the classic rock, what made music it, what it is today? They were smoking mad joints. So, I mean, we could ask mom. My mom was is from back in the day. She'll tell you all about it. My, my, <laughs> my pop, oh, and my pops too. He. I kind of learned to smoke from him, man. I, I always used to see him smoking yeah. those sneak I, I used to always come so. into Pops' room Sunday morning about 9.45. It's about to be the Raider game. Oh, you know, yeah. it's about to be you know, football time. You know time I come is. in, the door's always <laughs> locked, knock at the door. I smell weird smell. Pops opens the door. I'm like, what is this? What is that? But, <laughs> skunky. But I knew skunky, better yeah. than to say nothing because I'd have kept a, caught a backhand real quick. So yeah, I just yeah. don't say nothing thinking like, damn, dad smells weird. I get older. Dad was smoking weed the whole motherfucking <laughs> right, time. Right. And that was, uh, we won't even talk about the Raiders, though, because they're mad disappointing. We, we Fucking, could, man. Raider Nation. Anyways, day, but yeah. we better you bounce back, dog. used to that kind of just... No, I mean, I've like been used to it, dog, bullshit. but after 28 years of trash, dog, I'm fucking getting fed up, bro. Like, hey, why you hey, trade for Khalil for he's, nothing? He's switching right you now. You trade Amari Cooper he's for nothing? Right you release Bruce Irving for nothing, dog? I don't know about you. I know you got that Raider Nation <laughs> banger, which I fuck with, and Khalil Mack's brother was in that song. But shout tell me, Mac. shout out Money Mac, but tell me you can't feel some type of way for the nation, bro. Like, it's hard for me to stay loyal, bro. I've, I've, I've 
struggle through it all. You know what I I'm think, saying? I think everybody has this. But it, at some point, enough is enough. My guy, we got to use our heads sooner or later. Why are you going to get rid first of our person, best player? You might as well trade Derek Carr at this point. Statement right Like, here. what the fuck? He has officially switched what the his fuck? loyalty. Bro. We now have a new Rams fan in How are you going to give my guy, uh, Gruden, a 10 year A? Hey, no. I don't want to jump ship too much, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But if you can't back out if now, we can't get it together, though, if we can't get it together within the next 24 months, bro, I'm going to give you two years where I'm a limbo. I'm a no fan, bro. What and I've been, I went to my first Raider game six months old, bro. Like, I'm hard in the Raiders. Like, that, I was, like it, I'm with it. Yeah, but at this point, bro, like you're up. trading away talent. You're it's giving talent. away talent. You tell me Bruce Irvin's not going to go sign with somebody and do damage. That's what he does, bro. That's the captain of our defense. After Khalil Mack left, and then you just get rid of him for nothing. You see that, too? At least the, trade his ass. His first freaking game, dude, he, he recovers a fumble and takes yeah, it back for a touchdown. Yeah, that shit was hot. Dog, more than just his like, first game. Uh, he did it. He got hurt. Hey, I, and the first big, player. Big ups. I hope Khalil gets healthy because even if he's not a Raider, I, I wish him success because he's a, he's a beast. For sure. Yeah. And, but... He, it was more than just his first game, dog. It was it was a lot. But at any rate, how did you find yourself? And let me just try to get all this negative vibe I put on myself because I love the Raiders so much, but they're just killing me. Well, how did you find yourself doing that rec that Raider Nation record for anybody that might have not heard that? Check with, that out on YouTube. Yeah, though, with Money real. Mac, Khalil Mac's clean. brother. That he has yeah. bars, dog. I would yeah, not have yeah. expected him to have bars like that. <laughs> yeah, he got he a hit bar. the shits, bro. He was all getting all. He was snapping. He, he was the third verse, man. The second verse is actually my boy Sloan Bone from Mo. Yeah, Thugs. he snapped too. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my 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 OG right there. He Shout snapped. out Sloan. But that track actually came about through my homie Jimmy Lokes, okay. who uh, kind of wanted us to do something for the nation. Yeah, that's what's we, up. We ended up doing it. Got a hold of uh, Money Mac. Ended up linking up with Money Mac at, the, at a Raider Nation show we did in Long Beach with Corrupt yeah. and the Dog Pound and shit. So, hey, Corrupt's a goat, bro. That, I love that guy. Hey, He's can, on me. Yeah, big Corrupt, man. Yep. Much love. Much He's love in corrupt. the industry. I fucks with Corrupt. That was tight. He's, he's good people. Yeah. And he's so but, underrated, dog, is like a West Coast goat, in my opinion. Like, when you get people cop talking about the West Coast, like, who's this, who's that, yeah. you don't hear Corrupt's name thrown around as much as he may deserve. Yeah, because you only hear Cube, Snoop. Cube, Snoop. Every easy. now and then you'll, you'll get a, yeah, you'll get like a, a DJ Dre, quick or something. Yeah, Dre quick. Or, well, there's that fashionable list, and then there's the real list. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, course, that's, that's the course. truth. But yeah. I think Corrupt, the, the dopeness, at least for me, is the the multiversal styles of his business world, at least for me. Like, this yeah, full, he's, he's in the cannabis game, too. Like, his he's longevity got a, he's got is those awesome. Moon rocks. Like, that dude's making a, making an impact in the You know who I fucks world. with, too, though? Sugar Free, dog. Oh, fucks yeah. with some Sugar Legendary Free. Legendary shit. That G-Funk. You know what I'm saying? That, that DJ funk. Quick, that G-Funk, yeah, that it's, Sugar it's Free. Production he gets which is, right. honestly, which you can, you hear that shit heavy in your shit. Like, you hear you hear the G-Funk in, in your music big time. That's, yep. that's kind of what I... What I always try to do, man, is always try to provide a little bit of G Funk in every album. This that Amsterdam Cali. project that though, lit. was like hundred percent G Funk. That's what when I did always you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the uh what's the one? It's like the fifth track, sixth track that tell me uh This is gonna be perfect. This is actually perfect timing. I think we should definitely use this as our transition because we got we got my favorite part of the episode where we actually get to get down with the split it grip it and rip it hey, and listen to the that, album at the same time hey, so what we're about to do now y'all you'll, you're gonna get to see some on the on the road i'm putting my us. favorite track on but, for sure we about to go I'm about DJing. to go split it grip it and rip it we about to go hit up the 7-eleven right around the corner get some goodies yeah, 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 i got yeah, caught my hung on thirsty too, and i think i need a beer i don't know about you, you and we're about to come back and do the blitz bars challenge so get and your i need right. fire bars <laughs> homie yeah. all right you already got your beat in my and can i pick your beat are you versatile or you got to Beat pick. I'm gonna let you pick. Oh, oh I'm gonna hit you with stop, a track, honey. Right I'm gonna hit you with a track. <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna hit you with a banger. <laughs> before we jump off real quick, I want to give a shout dog. out to the sponsors for tonight yeah, that are big providing ups. the awesomeness. Big we got Puff All In providing the rap. We got an all natural Fanta Leaf coming straight from the Dominican Republic. Hey, hey. And then we got LA Bulk providing that big gassy ass fire there. going on the inside of the uh, wonderful Fanta Leaf. So yeah, we got those already pre rolled. Sometimes we like to get down with the roll ourselves, but we got this cigar style roll up with ready for us. With the glass tip, with the glass tip, it's gonna be. It's, so we're it's ready for that. Kind of sewer room. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty fire. So Super let's fire. get it. Super Split fire. It, rip it, rip it. Let's go. Let's be right back. Hey, 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 hey. Get 
to Philly, then up to New York and Detroit. My G, I'm making them feel me. I know the ATL hears me. I hear the funk down in the south. I got the Cajun persuasion like New Orleans up in your mouth. Call it worldwide. From where I stand in Japan. From my homies crib in London to some African land. I'm a miraculous man who keeps an accurate tab of all the ammunition needed to get back in the lab. And fire rounds in the sky. This G funk sound never dies. Cause if we fighting for the funk, then I'm the downest to ride. And I ain't never losing time to make some revenue. A pleasure doing business with ya. I make some digits with ya. I see the bigger picture though, and that's to make a difference with my music. Although it wouldn't hurt to pay the bills on with my music. Maybe go platinum, make a meal on with my music. I just want you to take a break and listen to the music. And we're back from the favorite part, or at least my That's favorite my part of our episode, favorite part. the split it, grip it, and rip it. I think we, I think we might have gone through, I think, 3.6 grams, an extra gram of some distillate, an extra gram of keef. So I, 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 I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. How about you guys? Liddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> grab it, grab <laughs> some brews, grab some brews. Big ups to Corona, you know? Big yep. ups to the local, the local liquor store local providing liquor store. that for us. And the eyeballs on the way there. Damn, yeah. it was yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But it is, now it is, that box was, was was boxy, my guy. But you ready or what? About to, I need these bars, bro. We All about right, to man. get into it. Let's so we, it. we we got our our normal blitz bars challenge, but today we got a little today bit of a curveball for you, just because the. Uh, just because your repertoire, bro. You are powering a six killing foods, power, dog. So we're hitting you with some real up. shit. We're hitting you with some so, real shit. My guy Freddy's in there. Got some. He got. We so, we picked some fire for you. So. I'ma still come with creations created up in the basement It's really fucking outrageous The way the clubs and the stations only play them for fakeness I'm about to snap them out that trance and give them something amazing And they gon' have to play it like they signed an affidavit Play it for me once like I'm a dying cancer patient And once the airwaves hear it, they gon' keep requesting Call a 420 or invited to my secret session Time to relieve the tension Yes, I'm deeply connected with the universe And all the different ways it teaches lessons Yo, come on, peep the message Yeah, for sure it gets deeper than all that face up in your portable speaker My music swarms through the ethers and captures every inch of dark matter Then brings it back to the lab and gather up more data Every second, every inch, every ounce are all incorporated into the bounce So let's bounce, G, what? Yo. Uh. Yo. About this chick, yeah. she was 25, something fine. I'm telling you, she was the whipped cream and the pumpkin pie. Ooh. Had such a lovely mind, but altered it with narcotics. A bunch of scumbag guys would try to hit and jump on it. And one actually did, some gangster looking cat. Of course, nice to her at first, but now she hates his crooked ass. Hey. She tried looking past the beatings and domestic violence by smoking dope, pallet tweaking, all depressed and silent. Emotions flow like the ocean when sex is in the picture. Abortion after abortion until it finally hit her. Now that she tried with all the heart and soul. So what you see, get out the dope and stay off it. Maybe just smoke some weed, uh, and keep those motherfucking yeah. eyes bleeding. We succeeding, and check it out. Uh, 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 I grew up up at DJ Quick and then Drake second. Warren G and Dark Brown, LA reppin'. Uh, ever, 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 bring it back. I grew up up at DJ Quick and then Drake second. Warren G and Dark Brown, LA reppin'. This little youngin' for the valley had to handle rap and come with that smooth flavor all like Battle Cat. So what's Manhattan at? Let's bring Staten back. The real rhyme must be adapting to the habitat. And I ain't mad at cats reppin' the cold school. Let's make it sure that they're respecting the old school It's so rude to be cursing at the good life After the show, the lows earning all their hood strikes And I got five on it like the loonies do And always rock on like that funk doobie crew Put it on like Big L, now we digging in the crates From Pete Rock to Pac, two legends in the game That's it, pop for right, like forever in the day The dudes for the old school, I'll forever have to pay Now throw your hands in the air And wave them like you just don't care And if you like that cheap funk and all that nice shit Everybody let me hear you say, oh yeah, yeah Yo, killed that shit, Yo. my guy. Killed it. We killed threw you it. A straight curveball today. Yeah, bro. I fuck with that, that, bro. Yo. Hey, hey, that fucking beer got me back in the zone after the fucking uh, hey, the that, seventeen that, blunts. That, bl- that eight <laughs> put you on your ass, though. Yeah, got it. Smoking eight, eight the gas. You never really know what's gonna. That, how that how are you gonna be Yo. living after that one? Props up, my dude. Yeah, big up. That shit was lit. That shit was yeah, tight as fuck. I'm fucking with that. Hell yeah, much love. That shit was hard. Hey, one time. Yeah, cheers I'm to the uh, episode. Tired. Cheers man. to these right bars, here, man. Boys. Much God. love. Split it, grip it, and rip it. I fuck with y'all. Hey, I yeah. fuck with you, man. Hey, you killed that, bro. You killed that for real, for real. Hey, check it out. Where Fucking... can they find you at, my dude? Yeah, uh, 
just follow me at Namic six two six on all all social media platforms, man. Did you do you know, album again? Did the album Namsterdam that's yep. out as well. On, you know, iTunes. You got Namsterdam so on all, every all major all platform. Man. Every major you, platform. Namic at six two six on every social media, yep. and then you also got that shit coming out next week. Next Friday, right? Oh, that yeah. battle on Power in the Six, the the another, upcoming battle. Another yeah, freestyle sure for, Friday. To vote, to vote for the homie. Right yeah, here. vote for the homie. Big up Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, call in the whole nine, bro, because he's with the shits. Hey, as man. you just saw the Blitz Bar challenge, he yeah. challenged. He has. I he really, came, uh, He saw. He conquered, bro. Straight the fuck up. Yeah. I really hope if this shit comes out for like. If it don't come out for like three weeks or so, Man, I really hope that uh, that we could still get that shit cracking because hopefully I'll be another chance. You know, I'll be the yeah. Oh, by the, by the so, time like, we get this put around. together, you know, yeah. we got we got yeah, moving yeah, parts. Yeah, You're gonna yeah. already be a champ. You know, knock on wood because I don't want to jinx my guy. But if I had to put the money up. I appreciate I'm putting it, it on my hey, guy. Just go six, smoke six, a couple six. blunts and do what you did tonight. Yeah, for real, it. dog, because you're in the zone. You killed that motherfucker. Up. Up. Hey, big you guys. Ups. Yo, big ups. Two. big ups. Big ups. I want to shout out real quick too yep. at Arte del Rap. Shout out my boy Sonic, Sonic 420, Jimmy Logue, Spider. We got it cracking. La Conecta, new single. All the way from Guadalajara to LA, man. It's going to be a That's sick ass up. collaboration. It's you got a new single? Too. What's it called? La Conecta? La Conecta with Sonic 420. You got the white boy here, La Conecta. You know what I'm saying? Dale duro, homie. What's up? <laughs> let's go let's get it hey salute to all the homies out hey. there in mexico holding it salute. down it's a big movement Salute. Out there. Yeah. salute.